Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to another Cricut DIY Wednesday. Okay, we, I have four DIYs to share with you today. And I'll be showing you a little bit of how I get them together in Cricut Design Space. And remember, I upload videos Wednesday and Sundays. Wednesdays is Cricut inspired videos and Sunday are my regular DIY videos. So I hope to see you on the, both of those days. So let's get into our Cricut inspired DIYs. Okay, I have these mirrored sheets that I got from Amazon. They're just mirrored sheets and they have a foam over them to keep them protected. And I also have some duct tape. Okay, I'm gonna take the mirrored sheets and I am gonna place them on some foam board here. I got that from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna trace it out and then cut out the shape of the mirrors. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to everyone again. And I am your host, Petal is Blessed, like I said before. <laughs> and if you're new here, I would like to say welcome. And I hope you do consider pressing the subscribe button and pressing the bell too, so you get notified every time I upload another DIY. I like to share um, glam and elegant DIYs on a budget. So now I have the squares, well, not exactly squares, but I have the mirror shaped, um, they're like, more like rectangles. I have the mirror shapes all cut out. So I took off the backing because it has a self adhesive on the back. And then I'm just lining them up with each piece of foam board. And then I'm just trimming up any extra pieces I see hanging over the mirrors. Okay, our four pieces are done. So I made two with the full back with the foam and the other two I cut out some spacing on each side. Hope you can see that there. Yeah, each side some spacing is cut out because I'm going to put the two pieces together to make a box and they just fit in great when you leave the space. So now I'm just going to use some hot glue and put our box together. And I'm also putting some glue on the inside to help hold it, just reinforce it. And an added touch, you don't have to do this step, but I like to put the duct tape in there also for a little extra support. So I'm just going to continue adding the sides to make our box. Okay, so now we have our box. So I'm just gonna take another piece of foam board and trace out the inside so we can have a bottom piece for our box. So I'm just gonna push it down in there and then I'll reinforce it with some glue and some duct tape along the bottom. Okay, so now we go on to Cricut Design Space, which they have lots of images for you to choose from. So I'm choosing the butterfly, so I press Add to Canvas. And here it is. And all you have to do is just resize it to the size you want it to be. And then I'm going to get some more butterflies here. And same thing again, resize it to the size that you want it to be. And I want two of each, so that's what I did. Now this is not a full tutorial. I'm just showing you a bit of what I do. <laughs> so I press to make it and then it brings me here. And then you choose what um, cut you want it to cut. Now I'm using the, the glitter paper. So with the glitter, I find it easier if you cut it on cardstock. Yeah, I learned that tip from you too. So just put your vinyl onto your mat and then feed it into the machine. And then the machine tells you to start and it starts cutting and while it's cutting it counts down to let you know how much further your project has to be to cut <laughs> has to go to cut 
100%, then it blinks to let you know it's finished. So you press it, it releases it, and you're all good. So our second um, project, I'm using these butterflies here, which I need four. So I send all that stuff through my machine and it cuts it. Okay, so we have our box here and we have our pieces <laughs> that we cut out with the Cricut machine. So we're just going to take our transfer tape, which is the thicker transfer tape, the stronger one, because for glitter you need a stronger transfer tape. So we're just going to burnish, scrape it on, scrape the front, scrape the back. And then we just peel it off. Okay, so we're going to take off the protective foam on our box. And then we're going to put our design onto the mirror. And then again, we're going to burnish it down onto the mirror. <laughs> Scrape it good, good, good. <laughs> and then we just take off the transfer tape. And there we go. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn around and do one on the other side because I have two butterflies like this. And then for the other side, I have our bunch of little butterflies. So two sides with a solid butterfly and the other two with our bunch of butterflies. Okay, now I have these pink glam strips here that I got from Walmart. I'll be putting them down the side of our box. And I just placed one little gem on our butterfly. <laughs> These gems here, I think it looks so cute there. So I'm just going to continue going right around the box with our strips. And here is our first box. I think it turned out very nice. A lovely box with flowers inside. Mm, a box vase, yeah. <laughs> a nice fr fresh, a nice spring decor for 2022. And I'm loving the butterfly. OMG, it looks so nice. Cricut has all sorts of nice designs images everything for you to choose from <laughs> right at your fingertips and you can print it on any color vinyl that you like and just add it to your decor so leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of this lovely butterfly pink vase lovely for the spring <laughs> and now for our next mirrored box i have this gold butterfly it's the gold glitter that I used whenever I showed you I was um, printing them in design space. So we're just burnishing it down to the mirror. And then we just peel it back. Doesn't that look very nice? So I have four of them. So we're placing the four gold butterflies going around our box. Okay, so now I have these same strips in gold. And we're going to be putting them right around our box like we did before. And uh, this time I'm placing these gems going right around the bottom of our box. And 
and here is our look for our second vase our second mirror box sorry I think it looks lovely in the gold OMG I am loving this one and I love how we have the little bling gems at the bottom like I said before you get lovely designs in Cricut design space and then you just print them out with your Cricut machine and there you go you have a lovely piece of decor for yourself or as a gift for a loved one or you could even sell the items Cricut is so good you can make money using your Cricut also So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of our gold mirrored box. And like I said before, this is also a lovely refresh for the spring. Now I have this rolling pin here. I just wanted to give you a quick idea of something that you can do with a rolling pin yeah okay I took this shape out of design space and it's a permanent glossy premium vinyl holographic sparkle <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it off and put it right here just line it up and then we're just gonna use the scraping tool and burnish it down onto our little handle so I'm just putting it on the handle because the other part of the rolling pin you have to roll your dough with it so you can't put it there <laughs> but they do have a method that you can use to put things there but I've just not mastered it yet but when I do master it I will come back and share it with you guys so we're just peeling it off <laughs> and there you go doesn't that look nice so now I'm just going to use back the transfer tape again. And then we're just going to place it on the other side. And do the same thing again. Put it down, burnish it a bit, and then we'll take it off. Now we're just going to remove it. Oh, the star came off so I'm just gonna try and put it back on okay there we go I think that looks really nice so I added touch of glam our little gem right here and I'm just using some hot glue and placing it onto the end and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I think that looks nice and here we go our glam rolling pin OMG I think it looks super cute and a little gem on the side <laughs> and nicely to spruce up our kitchen utensils and it is a permanent vinyl so it will be okay to use and it won't be in your food so that's great I think it looks lovely it would make a nice gift for someone or something for yourself And now for our next DIY, we're going to be doing an iron-on. So we have this canvas here. And the size of our canvas is 10 by 10. And I have the kitchen towels to help support the back of our canvas. And I have my easy press set at 330. So these are the two pieces that we'll be using. <laughs> so we're just going to heat up our canvas. And then we're going to place our design where we want it and then we're going to press it on 330 for 30 seconds then we have to flip it and do the other side for 15 seconds and my easy press is a little big it would be better if you have the little handheld one I don't have one of those <laughs> but I'm doing what I can 
and I'm just gonna turn it over and press it for another 15 seconds like how I didn't get to press the back completely so here we go and we have to let it cool before we peel it and here I am peeling it oh I think it looks so nice <laughs> it looks really nice so now I go back into the Cricut space because it tells you what temperature and stuff to use for whatever you're ironing on so for the next iron on which is a regular iron on it says to do 315 at 30 seconds so I'm knowing the temperature on my easy press so it's counting down back to 315 and now it's ready so we are going to line up our flower because it's layering <laughs> so now I am pressing it for the 30 seconds at 315 and again we're gonna turn it over and try and press it a little bit and then I'm turning it over and do the same thing press again 15 seconds and then we have to wait for it to cool Okay, it's a cool peel so we're just gonna wait for it to cool off then we'll peel it off okay now it's cool so we're gonna just peel it off and here is our iron-on spring refresh decor <laughs> I think it looks lovely and using the glitter iron-on as the offset behind the flower you don't need nothing else on your canvas it looks absolutely lovely another lovely Cricut inspired refresh DIY <laughs> Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of our glam flower canvas decor. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed our Cricut inspired glam DIYs for today. <laughs> I had fun making them and sharing them with you all. Like I said, there are a lot of nice um, phrases, images, and everything in Cricut Design Space. And you can also import your own images as long as they are supported by Cricut Design Space and do some glam decor for yourself or for a loved one. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of today's four DIYs. <laughs> and I, like I said before, if it's your first time, I do you hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Glamster team. And I hope everyone gives me a thumbs up for today's video. And remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.